Hello, everyone. Um, I have the pleasure of having with me uh, Fulvio uh, Shalhou uh, from Quantic Bank. Uh, he's been in the mortgage business for four years, a very condensed four years because he's done a lot of uh, business. And uh, I really like his process and the way he goes about doing business. Um, Fulvio, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So what we wanted to talk about, because I know um, you do all the traditional uh, lending, which is uh, Fannie Mae, uh, conforming, mm -hmm. FHA. Uh, but what are some of the specialties? What makes Quantic stand out? Like, what are some of the things that that are really niche to Quantic? So Quantic, we're we're known a lot for our uh, our non QM stuff. Um, our non QM loans is what is definitely the, the niche market that that. And what is a non QM? Non QM so pretty much is your non traditional lending. Okay. Um, so for example, uh, limited documentation, bank statement loans. Um, tax ID loans, which has been a, a, a big product for me, especially um, in some parts of the island here, Long Island, which is where we're located, uh, or where, at least with the branch I work out of. Um, so it's those type of loans where where Quantic has they have a big wholesale division where we do a lot of that stuff, and we also do it retail. Okay, and what is the process like? What what are why would somebody need a non QM loan? Um, well, ITIN, that's self-explanatory, tax ID, you know, that's not a traditional loan that uh, those uh, clients with the tax ID could acquire. Um, so we lend, a, you know, we, we have the product here for them. Um, so a tax ID is when you don't have uh, social and illegal status in the country. And what you do is you just pay taxes to the government on your earnings. Um, so the, they they are the ones that, <clears throat> that would find, look for a tax ID. Then we have bank statements, bank statement loans. Um, that's for your small business owners, you know, business uh, business that maybe handle a lot of money um, in and out their bank accounts, but for whatever reason, you know, it doesn't translate to 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 tax documents and things of that nature. So okay. um, we also have a light doc where we, we we don't need to look at your taxes. We pretty much just pra uh, go off of a P and L. That we get from your account and, and things of that nature. So that those are the, the main two. And we also have a DSCR that have, that works for an investor. Um, DSCR is a debt service coverage ratio loan. Pretty much, if you're looking to buy uh, an investment property, you already own a property. As long as this property can sustain its own mortgage, you're good to go. And okay, these, so um, these, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but these non-QM loans um, do have a higher down payment and, in most cases, uh, a higher interest rate as well. Okay, thanks for sharing that. I mean, so pretty much is um, it's anything outside of traditional, you know, conforming Correct. FHA, Sony May, or anything that doesn't fit within that realm. Correct. You have private investors or, or private bankers that are out there that are that you can go to uh, in order to get somebody qualified and, and funded. Correct. Correct. So it, as far as funding, we fund with, with our own money. It just gets it gets sold to you know not your traditional fanny. Freddie and HUD, it goes to, to private investors, correct? Okay. So I guess the advantage of someone going to you, number one, you speak Spanish, right? Tu español. Correct. Sí. Es una cosa. The other thing is that I'm, I'm very impressed with your process, but also when you sit down with somebody, the mm -hmm. advantage is, is that if you're going to always try to get them the best deal through the traditional ways, right. because, uh, you know, conforming, FHA, Sony mm -hmm. May, but at the end of the day, you just don't say completely no, because there's other alternatives, right? right? With the non-QM. Cool. And, and you mentioned, and we had a conversation about this uh, new program for buyers. Can you explain that a little bit more? Oh, yeah. So so Quantic has, uh, it's called The One. It's the, it's the name we, we have here internally uh, at the bank. It's called The One. And it's because you could do a 3% down payment conventional with no PMI. Okay. Um, in Nassau and Suffolk County, um, there is an income limit of 117, 120. So 117000 dollars 120 pretty much. Um uh, not 120,000, I'm sorry. 117, 120 pretty much is the okay. income limit. And um, what's the percent down again? Um, minimum three percent. Three percent. Three percent. No PMI. No PMI. And with that's a, with a minimum down, uh, I'm sorry, with a minimum FICO of 660. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Now, th- do they get a break also with the interest rate, or is is traditional the, whatever the rates the rates are out there? So, so if if you're familiar with if anyone's familiar with home ready, which is slightly better than your traditional conventional rate, we're similar to that pretty much. Okay. So, if any, so, so yes, the answer is they do get a break with with the interest rate as well. No PMI is key. Yeah, for sure. I mean, not having to pay that monthly because the the thing is with FHA, I mean, you can't. The only way to get out of it is refinancing out of it. Refund, correct. And then anything else, you have to wait until you know you're less than eighty percent LTV, loan to value, meaning that you owe less than eighty um, percent than what the value oh, is. The and we don't, and we don't know if values are going to shoot up the way they did in the past four or five years. Correct, correct. Anything so else you want to tell me about lending, about the market, about what's happening, about your process specifically? If somebody were to call you, like what what is your unique process? The market rates and all that stuff i'd rather not speak about we can't crystal ball that we don't know we kind of just you know uh, move with the punches with that um but as far as my process i'd love to speak about it um okay uh, my pro- client calls me today and my goal is to screen them over the phone uh just a quick screening you know what are your savings like what are your what uh your assets pretty pretty much your assets what are your earnings like and what what the, what's the plan around it and then once i see that we do have um and it's not just for me, it's for both of us. It's for the client and myself. I wouldn't want to make you come to my office when I could tell you over the phone, hey, you need more savings or you need more income or you may need a co-signer, things of that nature. But when I see that the numbers, everything, we could piece something together, my goal is to get you in my office. Um, 98% of the clients I pre-approve, they meet me in my office. Um, I don't love to do you know, phone deals and stuff like that. I, I usually feel like I don't get their trust and I don't get they don't get clarity on what, what's going on and why the numbers are what they are. So a buyer comes to my office at that point, we schedule an appointment, you bring me W-2s, uh, tax returns, your pay stubs, IDs, social, and your bank statements. So once I have all that stuff and you, you, know, you come to my office, we sit here for 30, 45 minutes, you pretty much leave my office either with a pre-approval or a plan on how to get pre-approved. Now, for all those people that are like very, have adjusted to the new age of Zoom and everything else, like, um, what do you say to those people that um, are busy and sometimes they can't make it out to someone's office sometimes? I, I'll take it and I'll leave it up to them at that point. Um, for example, a, a client that comes referred, let's say, by you to me, um, there's some, at which all of my leads at this point are, for the most part, warm leads. Um, so there, there is a sense of trust already, not as much as you meeting me in my office. Yeah. But if there is no other way to get it done, then yes, email me your documents, or, you know, uh, upload it to the platform and I'll take a look at, I'll take a look at them, but still when it comes to, let's say you need a pre-approval today, I'll get that done. But let's discuss the numbers, the specific numbers sometime over the weekend. Can you come, can you come to my office on the weekend? Or can you do this? And I say it's more for their sake, um, especially if they're first time home buyers. Yeah. They don't know nothing about the process. They don't know me. It's nice to have a face of the name. Yeah. Um, so I, I'd like to, at some point, get them into the office. And there's nothing wrong with that because that's your style. That's your protocol. It works Correct. for you. And you Correct. become more intimate with the client and you're able to get more in depth with the questions and, and answer um, any of their like, you know, things that may be confused about whatever it is. So and I, I heard I hear that you even tell me that you even put up a screen, you show them, um, you know, a lot of things that way so that they really have comprehension of, of the process. So look, like I, I tell everyone, everybody has a different process. This is why I want to discuss your process. Uh, Fulvio gets after it um you know he's big the the, the good thing that i like about a lot of good things but is that you're honest you're straightforward Mm -hmm. you know you follow up with people all the time um and and then that's uh, you know you don't see that a lot so uh full of you if somebody wants to get a hold of you Mm -hmm. um how can they uh reach you my cell phone my cell phones my lines open 24 7 let's say yeah let them Uh, know what it is six four six 388-4775. 388-4775. That's my cell phone. Okay. Um, I wouldn't even put my email out there. I'd rather you not email. Call me. You need me? 646-388-4775. Worst thing that could happen is I might be busy. I might not answer. Right. The phone call at the time, but you'll definitely get a call within the day. Yeah. And, and if you don't pick up, hey, send a text, right? Because at For the sure. end of the day, look, you're doing this for me right now. You wouldn't be able to pick up. Right. Phone, exactly. Sitting with a client. And, and if, you're, if you sit down with somebody in person, especially for, for whatever, how long it is, you want to put all your attention to them. So exactly. folks, send him a text if he doesn't pick up uh, and at least have a conversation with him so that you can 
you know, he can answer the basic questions. Uh, and if I always say if there's a flow there, there's a click, then you take it to the next level. Okay, Fulvio, thank you so much for your time, bro. All right. Thank, thank you, Rafael. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me.